so this is the sixth session of plant taxonomy class at the end of the class we are going to learn the importance of herbarium techniques and steps involved in making herbarium sheets knowledge of international and national herbaria and the use of acronyms contents of this video importance of herbarium steps in herbarium techniques field visits collection of specimens drying mounting preservation labeling storage and maintenance and acronyms used for different herbaria the major herbaria in india and there are two tables the first table gives information on some international herbaria and second one on the herbaria of maintained by botanical survey of india and there are two video links created by royal botanical garden q on the topic how to make herbarium and lastly references then what do you mean by a herbarium a herbarium is a pressed and dried plant sample that is permanently glued or strapped to a sheet of paper along with a documentation label it was luca gini an italian botanist who created the first herbarium and used the word called hortosiccus in latin hortosiccus means a dry garden later joseph tournefort a french botanist used the term called herbarium which is equivalent to hortosiccus now the importance of herbarium it is a very important resource material for doing systematic research it will be a reference material for comparing doubtful as well as newly collected or fresh specimens for the purpose of identification it helps in writing new monographs as well as floras it helps in studying the floristic diversity of a particular geographical region it helps in environmental assessment also helps in the survey of unexplored area steps involved in herbarium techniques the first one is the field visits and collection of the specimens then drying of the specimens mounting on the herbarium sheet preservation labeling storage maintenance field visits and specimen collection collect complete specimen with all parts root system leaves flowers fruits etc then transfer the specimen in a vasculum to prevent wilting now tag the specimen with a field number and record the basic information in the field notebook like locality altitude habit floral characters date and time of collection name of the collector common name scientific name etc the tools required at the time of a specimen collection it includes diggers scissors knives twig cutters field notebooks polythene bags vasculum 
needles, forceps, hand lens, old newspapers, magazines, etc. The second step is pressing and drying of the specimens. The specimens are spread out between the folds of old newspapers or blotting sheets, avoiding overlapping of the parts. The larger specimen may be folded in the form of N or W shapes. The blotting sheets with the plant specimens should be placed in the plant press for drying purpose. After 24 to 48 hours, the press is opened and repeat the process for a week using fresh blotters. Now the third step is mounting. The dried specimens are mounted on a herbarium sheet of a standard size. Mounting is done with the help of glue or a cellar tape. The bulky plant parts like dry food, seeds, etc and are dried without pressing and are put in a small envelope called fragment packets. Succulent plants are not mounted on a herbarium sheet but are collected in 4% formalin or formalin acetic acid alcohol. Then the preservation. The mounted specimens are sprayed with a fungicides like 2% solution of mercuric chloride. Now the fifth step is labeling. A label is pasted or printed on the lower right hand corner of a herbarium sheet. The label should indicate the following information like locality, altitude, soil type, vegetation type, associated plants, habit, date and time of collection, name of the collector, common name, scientific name and other information related to the plant specimen. Now the sixth step is storage. The dried, pressed and identified specimens are placed in a specimen cover which are kept together in a genus cover. Genus covers are incorporated into the herbarium cupboards and are arranged according to a well-known system of classification. In India, Bentham and Hooker system of classification is used for this purpose. The type specimens are generally stored in separate and safe places. Then the last one is maintenance. Fumigation, that is poisonous liquids like uh, methyl bromide, carbon disulfide or carbon tetrachloride are placed in a small containers and kept in each herbarium case for about a week. Sometimes heating also is adopted. This method is used for insect killing. Some of the herbaria use electric heaters instead of fumigation technique. Another method is chemical treatment. The dipping of the material in insecticide before pasting or even spraying the chemicals after pasting. The chemicals used here are mercury chloride and ethyl alcohol. Now something about the use of acronyms for different herbaria. Acronym is an abbreviated form to denote a particular herbarium and it is assigned by index herborearum that is IH in which each institution is assigned a permanent unique identifier in the form of 1 to 8 letter code. A practice that dates from the founding of IH that is in 1935. Some of the examples are 
सेंट्रल नेशनल हार्बेरियम कलकत्ता सी ए एल मेड्रास हार्बेरियम कोयमतूर एम एच रॉयल बोटानिकल गार्डन क्यू के नेचुरल हिस्ट्री म्यूजियम लंडन बी एम सम ऑफ द मेजर हार्बेरिया इन इंडिया द सेंट्रल नेशनल हार्बेरियम हाउरा which was established in 1795 and it comprises about 2 million specimens this is the first herbarium in the country and is one of the most important asian herbaria another one is at forest research institute dehradun which has about 350000 specimens then national botanical garden lucknow with 260000 specimens then blatter herbarium bombay with 2 lakh specimens then botanical survey of india it has many regional centers which maintains different herbaria in different parts of india so this is table 1 which gives information on list of some international herbaria location of the herbaria acronyms used and number of specimens deposited so different herbaria are there national herbaria paris new york botanical garden new york kamarao institute leningrad royal botanical garden q national herbarium netherland masuri botanical garden ambo botanical garden jdiva harvard university herbaria and lastly uh, about national history museum london so this is the list of herbaria maintained by botanical survey of india the information here the centers that is the units location date of initiation acronyms used with a number of specimens so national herbarium haura industrial section of indian museum kolkata then southern circle koyamathur western circle pune eastern circle shillong northern circle dehradun Central Circle, Allahabad, Andaman and Nicobar, Port Blair, Arid Zone, Jodhpur, Arunachal Pradesh Circle, Itanagar, Sikkim, Himalayan Circle, Gangtok, Deccan Circle, Hyderabad. So these are the two video links created by the Royal Botanical Garden Q. about the herbarium making please watch these two videos thank you